Hey, me again. I have another mailbag. Yes, same day. It's just that I had this box that I bought last week and I did not touch it and I spent a lot of money in it, on it. And it's incredible the amount of money I spent on it, like $600 and it, I have it laid out all in front of me. It doesn't look like it's $600 worth of stuff, but it is. So I'll show you and let me know if that's that's what it's worth. But basically, most of it is is decently priced. It's just a sheer volume. Mind you, the price is in Canadian dollars, not US. So remove 30% for US prices. Um, so let's start. I'll show you from the top. Now, see my hands? No, you don't. First of all, let's see. I have, I bought... Not one pair, but just one uh, set of uh, oscilloscope probe because uh, I wanted to try it out, see if it was decent. Because I don't find mine to be good. I may buy and dish out for grade a better probes for my scope. Uh, worst case scenario, if it's not, if it doesn't turn out to be good, I'll use it for my uh, triggering uh, for a single uh, shot. Uh, because I have an input for that, uh, at least that's that. I'll put things in the box at the same time. Got myself a box of uh, regulator, Zzz, regulators. There's a few, 50 piece. You got your standard LM317, 7805, 06, 08, 09, 10, 12, 15, 18, 24. No, really, it's a. Uh, so you're, uh, you, you, you need that as a base, right? Next, I've got a bunch of JST connectors. Uh, I don't use JST connectors, but I saw this kit and I said I had to have it. And it's 1,500 pieces. Uh, sorry for the glare. I'm going to try to remove the glare as much as possible. Uh, you've got all sorts of dimensions, sizes, um, so hopefully that will meet all my future needs in JST connectivity. I've got another kit here, which is a capacitor kit. Uh, mostly small values, which is good because I don't have a lot of the small ones and it's 960 pieces. Great because you know you have small uh, ones that you don't normally have as a nor you know if you don't have a kit basically you don't go and buy a two picofarad one you have two five ten twenty two thirty thirty three forty seven and so on up to a uh, hundred nanofarads uh i uh, it's a nice nice little kit i actually may buy a second one eventually if i end up using the most popular which will be 100 nanofarads and 47 nanofarads and probably the 22 puffs are also very much used uh, when using um, crystals 22 30 10 it'd be nice to get like 20 18 24 so you can play between uh, both if you have issues uh, next in the list uh, I've purchased because knowing I'm gonna do an ESA card based uh, system I purchased a few brackets. Hole and be uh, lo and behold, they're the wrong ones. It's for PCI, right? It's made for uh, if you uh, look at the. Do I have a board? Yeah, I have a board right here. Normally on ISA stuff, you have your card, you have your components here, and your bracket goes like this. And unfortunately, it's. Uh, it's not supposed to go like this, you know. This it's it's supposed. It, this is for uh, PCI, exp not Express, but PCI cards. Or PCI Express. I don't know. Does it? Yeah, PCI Express also has it on the other side. So, oh well, maybe I'll traffic them. Uh, I'll I'll cut them and and put holes in them for uh, whatever my, uh, my needs will be, depending on the connector types I'll have. Or if not, then. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with them. Any ideas? Please put them in the comments below. I've got more brackets. I've got 10 
uh, for DB9 connectors for the 37 pin DB9 connectors. I did not find any 25 ones, it would have been nice, but at least I have the 37 one. It might be useful for certain situations. I have, oops, I'm making a mess here. I've got 10 for a single uh, DB9 or DE9. Uh, and I've got 20 for dual DB9. So that's that's going to be useful because it doesn't have the uh, the side bracket to mount it. I just need to make sure that my dimensions will be correct on the PCB with the connector so I can align it properly and at the right height. If you have any idea where I can find uh, the correct dimensions uh, for these, because normally there's a specific height your bracket has to be. I found the dimensions of the board, but not where the bracket has to be in relation in relation to the board. So if you do have any um, information regarding that on the web, please post a link in the comments down below. That would be really appreciated. Um, let's take that away. Otherwise, I'm going to have too many things. All right, so I got here a few uh, RCA uh, to, um, how do you call these things? Uh, so I could uh, trap wires in them. There's a, there's a word for it. I just forget what it was. It's, a, it's, not, a, it's not a Phoenix connector. It's, um, uh, you tell me, uh, remind me what it is. Um, so I got some uh, male and female. So that way I could actually do my cabling for uh, my prototyping for a video and sound card. I have uh, DB15 connectors, not the HD15, the standard two row uh, DB15. I've got four female and four male ones. Uh, not sure how I can implement those. Uh, if it would have been 16 or 20, it, it, I could have used, I don't know, a PIO for, for them, but 15? Hmm. Any ideas? Comment down below. I just bought them, they were cheap. I got some uh, IDC connector, 90 degree connectors with a locking tab. Uh, this I'm going to use for uh, my keyboard that I've made. I've got to show you my keyboard. I've never shown anybody actually for now, but this is going to be a piece of video on itself. I made this PCB for my keyboard, and it's a parallel matrix 8x8. It's, uh, it aligns with the, the screws and everything for, for a standard case, so that's um, perfect. I, I had to cut away with uh, the uh, material here. It's not a pretty, jo a pretty job, but I have a second case. This is my prototype, and... Um, and we'll see about what I'm going to do after that. Maybe I'll open it up more, open it more here and, and put the IDC from the bottom. But I'm pretty proud of that. Now, you know, I don't know if it works because I haven't assembled one yet. So that's going to be for that. I have some barrel connectors with uh, termination blocks on the end. I have some uh, USB male, A male and female with termination blocks so I can do my own wiring. Because I have a standard COM port and I may uh, also have uh, RS-232 on uh, my system and I, I may, you know, do some, ch gen I needed some gender changers uh, so I didn't have any. That can be always, it's always practical to have in your toolkit, right? Uh, I've got some um, USB, yeah, female USB A, PC for, PC, uh, for PCBs. I only got two because actually I got a kit. Where is that kit? Oh, there it is. I got that too. It's just I put it away because I needed it. And this is uh, where that come from. Uh, in my pre previous videos, there's um, there's one for uh, uh, the 
USB B, which is there. This is a USB A female. And you got all sorts of, it's another kit that I purchased at the same time. Uh, it's got everything, even USB 3, USB C, USB micro, uh, mini, uh, whatnot. Uh, pretty much everything is there. So I should actually, should I put that in there? No, it's its, it's, its own thing. Uh, another kit I got, transistor assorted kit. Oh no, that was from a previous purchase. It's just that it was on my desk. So never mind that, you didn't see that. Uh, these will these are little um, posts for uh, the DB uh, the, the DB sub connectors because most of them don't come with screws, right? Uh, I mean, like for example, this one has them. But if I look at the ones I got, it doesn't have any, right? So I needed to buy those. Hopefully, they'll be long enough. Uh, I have some uh, stackable headers, 40 pin, 2 by 20. Got a 10 of them. It's always practical to have when you're doing a stackable version of um, a system. One of my, uh, if you look at uh, episode zero, you'll see my stack version of my um, 6502 system. My second ver revision. I got some uh, micro switches, which is 100 uh, mil uh, wide per pin. So it's breadboard friendly. Not very stable in a breadboard, but it's, um, it's, uh, it does the job. Uh, what else? Yeah, I bought these capacitors. I got, I put in my bag these capacitors before the other, but it's not the same values. I got these tantalum caps, um, standard values. Uh, I got some ceramic also, 22 puffs. Got more than I needed. So you, never, you always need 22 puffs. Uh, I have also some sockets which are which actually are can crystal oscillators I'd rather use these ones whoops rather use these ones because you know it's made for rather than taking eight pin uh, dips and cutting the legs so I love these found those took 20 uh, I have an FTD FTDI um, adapter although i do have one uh why did i want this one in particular uh, do i have my magnifying glass somewhere hidden uh, yeah there it is is there something particular ttl three volt uh oh okay no 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 yeah this one is not spi this one is um this one is a um, uh, I squared C version. Is that what it is? What does it say? Oh no, it's a CH three forty one FTDI, but yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a I squared C version. Here is a micro SD card. Uh, for uh, SPI, um, will I use that one? I, I, now I'm not sure because if since um, I got the, uh, three, the CH three seventy six, this one's going to be obsolete. But you know, it might be useful for Arduino projects. Uh, here I have two audio amplifiers, so I could do a stereo output. Uh, this way I can test uh, my soundboard, Bef I can test my audio output uh, before doing my own audio circuit. I'm not an analog guy, so at least I have something to start with and then I'll be able to build upon that for something more robust. I've got some mini DIN connectors. Um, I got two 8-pin uh, mini DINs and one 6-pin mini DIN. I got the 6-pin, I already had some 6-pin, but they were uh, 
green and purple for the keyboard and mouse. This one's black because I may use it for uh, something else. Not sure yet, but I took it anyways. The 8-pin, I know there's a certain standard for serial TTL output for a uh, mini DIN 8. So um, I may use that for uh, stuff like um, uh, HMI displays. Who knows? I showed you that, right? The USB connectors, yes. Uh, I have a few barrel jack connectors. I believe they're the 2.5 inch standard. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got more. It's got to be more. I think I, or I took everything that they had probably. Um, I have a few panel mount LEDs. They are all different colors: red, green, yellow, blue, white. Uh, so if I ever put something in a case, uh, I can use that. I also got these switches. Uh, I got the power button version of it. It uh, lights, the ring lights up. Same thing with that one. The, ling, uh, the, the, light, the, the light ring lights up. This one's red. That's going to be for my reset switch. That's going to be for my power switch. And that one's green. And then I got all sorts of colors for something else on that panel mount. Got some cables. I got a USB A to USB A. What is it? Ten foot. Uh, it's always practical. I don't have any USB A to USB A, so at least I'll have one. And in case I ever, and I don't know if I will ever find one. Um, I got a Centronics parallel printer cable. So if I want to have a, a Centronics um, uh, printer port on my uh, computer, my Z80 computer, then I'll have the cable. It wasn't too expensive, so it was worth it. It was in the old uh, stock uh, area. I have two small speakers. I believe they are... 3 watts, 4 ohm each, and this one's not marked, but uh, these ones are a bit more than 3 watts for sure. I think they're 6 or 10. I'll, I'll have to check the, um, the product code and, and see what they are, but um, depending on the box I'm going to use for the final product, it might be interesting to have one, one of these speakers uh, for the, the sound subsystem. Also, I got this uh, micro, uh, no, my, what am I talking about? I got this um, bootloader uh, shield to program uh, Atmega 328s because not all Atmega 328s are programmed with uh, the bootloader, so at least I can uh, pre-program them uh, with this shield. Um, otherwise, uh, I could use my EEPROM programmer, but you just put it on, press a button, and it's done. No fuss. These little buttons are really nifty, and I'm going to buy some more at uh, AliExpress. I saw where they were. These are uh, light, uh, they light up. Unfortunately, they're not breadboard compatible because of that those little pins on the side, right? Um, the little dot marks the anode, I believe, or the cathode. Yeah, it's the anode. Uh, I am going to use a red and a green on my uh, ATX uh, passive backplane. Uh, green for power, red for the reset. Uh, I like to have a LED for the reset. So that way I know if it's stuck in reset or, or something. So I got a four of each color. But I am going to go to AliExpress and buy some more eventually and lastly is it lastly yeah i think it's the last thing on my list or you know i got these also i got these uh, um, ceramic capacitor kits uh, 500 pieces from 0 0.01 microfarad to 10 microfarad strange huh ceramic they, they don't look like ceramic but hey who's to argue 
that was that was a good uh, good buy. Uh, I got um, 74 HCT 132. I'll need that for my um, Shadow ROM um, logic. I've got some. What else do I have? This is no, that's not from them. I had others another series of chips. Huh. Where is it? Oh well, it's somewhere. No matter. I think it was like a HCT uh, 374, uh, uh, th uh, 573 or something like that. But uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully uh, you didn't find it too boring. You, you saw that there was a lot of stuff. Um, and there's more to come because I have a Mauser uh, mailbag uh, to unpack and that one is really unpacked so you'll have a uh, discovery uh, same as me all right so see you next time